Hey guys, I'm here today with another first impressions. It's going to be on a drugstore foundation that's new to the market. It is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin's Trans Skin Transforming Foundation. And it looks like this. It's in like a pretty blue packaging with some silver. And mine is in the color nude beige, and this is also the same shade that I have in my Maybelline uh Matte and Poreless foundation as well. I know that my friend Sam was really enthusiastic when she found out that this was coming to the US because it is available in the UK but she was so excited and she was like tracking it trying to see when it was coming out and she was so funny she was just like <laughs> she was so on top of finding out when it would be released in the US and I mean she's also doing a like a review on this as well so I'll link her video down below as well. It's oil free and it also is um it has SPF 15 in it and it says right here it says our first foundation for all day color wear with act a c t l a c t y l c known for antioxidant benefits okay whatever that was sorry and it says it improves the skin's look in three weeks, reduces the appearance of spots, bumps, dullness, and red redness. So yeah, I found this at Harmon, and it was like nine dollars and twenty nine cents. But I actually had um, I had found on the display there was a save one dollar manufacturer uh, coupon, so I used that as well as well. So it was only eight dollars and I think twenty nine cents. I think that's how much it was. So I didn't, you know, it wasn't super expensive. It is a little bit more pricey for a drugstore foundation, especially at Harmon. So I'm sure that, because Harmon usually has the best prices, so I'm assuming that if you found this at like CVS or Walgreens, it might be a little bit more expensive just because Harmon usually has better pricing. I also wanted to mention that all it also came with a concealer. I was going to get it and then I decided against it because I just have so many concealers that I'm liking right now so I didn't want to um, kind of you know mix the two right now so I probably will at some point get it just to see what it's like but I also wanted to mention that the color range there was about maybe six to twelve or six to eight different uh, probably eight different colors to choose from so this one was the closest one to matching me and I feel like it doesn't even look like it's gonna match me too much but I think it's gonna look better once I'm a little bit more tan so um, we'll see how that turns out but I will say that this was like the third lightest and so it's not super it's not like super light but it's also it's not really dark either but if you think of this is only the third lightest shade so I don't know there was one it was like two below it I think was like ivory so I was like I'm definitely not ivory so <laughs> I'm going to go prep my skin with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray and I'm also going to use uh, the Professional by Benefit, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all uh, prepped and primed and all that fun stuff, so I'm just going to squirt a couple on the back of my hand and I'm also going to use a damp beauty blender. Um, I do like the fact that this is a pump, by the way, I was like really happy about that. So it seems kind of thick. I did swatch it at the store because they had a little tester on the display. But yeah, it's a little bit thick. It's not really moving anywhere. So we'll have to see. I feel like I might need to go in with more. I did like three sprays of that. Not sprays. I'm just going to put extra on the back of my hand just in case I need it. looks better in person than it does on camera. 
I don't know why. Like, when I'm looking at it in person, this looks like it's covered up, but on the screen it does not. And it's saying it reduces redness. I really don't feel like it did. I feel like I could still see my redness. I could still see, like, darks. Now I'm seeing up close. I could see, like, dark spots and stuff. I don't know. So far, I'm not really liking this. I feel like I'm already looking kind of flaky and stuff. And I'm, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe it'll be better throughout the day. But as of right now, I'm not really too crazy about it. Let me just... Um, maybe try to conceal a little bit more because I break out a little bit on my jawline more than I do anywhere else. And I feel like it's starting to oxidize a little and the color is getting darker on my face. It was matching before, now it's not really too much. I'm going to blend it down to my neck too, just to kind of blend because I feel like it looked way too dark on my face and now I don't know. so I'm just gonna go put on the rest of my face makeup and all that and my eye makeup well so like the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back hey guys okay so I'm back with my full face of makeup and just quick side note I actually like how this came out so I think I might be doing a tutorial on it so stay tuned <laughs> so my final thoughts are, I don't think it's awful right now. Not my final thoughts, but, you know, my next stage of thoughts. Um, I think it looks okay right now. I don't think it's anything special. I think when I look at it up close, you can definitely tell I'm wearing foundation. It kind of just looks, not cakey, but I feel like it looks, you know, um, it looks like I'm wearing foundation. It does not look like natural whatsoever and you know it is whatever I didn't set the I didn't even set this foundation with anything because I figured it might look a little powdery to begin with because as I finished um, my makeup not my makeup as I finished putting the foundation on before I put anything else on I was noticing it looked like if I put powder on it it might tend to look a little cakey so I decided not to do that I did bronze my skin I did um add some blush highlighter things like that so and concealer. I concealed underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. So I do have other stuff on my face, but those are the, the only powders I have are uh, the, the bronzer actually because um, I used like a couple of the ColourPop items that I just mentioned in my, my uh, ColourPop haul. So those aren't really powder, it's more so moussey feeling. So yeah. Um, I'm not really doing too much today. I'm going to probably be um, going to the store here, there, and everything like that. So I'll probably check back in with you guys a little after that. But as of right now, it's okay. But I haven't been outside in the weather yet, you know, experiencing what the weather is like outside. It's a little bit humid today from what I understand. I haven't even actually walked outside the door yet. But, um... I will definitely check back in with you guys a little bit later and yeah so I'll see you guys in a few hey guys I'm back and it is 2 15 I've had the foundation on since probably around 10 o'clock uh, so you do the math I can't do the math right now um, and as you can see I'm kind of oily a little bit underneath my eyes because that's where I usually get really oily in my nose um, my forehead not too much um, Although, because I think I'm oily, it looks like my highlight is really, like, looks really nice. Um, I also have had my hair down, and it's a little warm out, so I felt like, I don't know, it kind of ate away at the foundation that was over here, and a little over here. In this area, I usually get really dry, so I think the foundation kind of wore away a little bit on the dry patch area, so, um, that just shows right there, like, it is what it is, you know? I think other than that though my face makeup held up pretty well um I might do another check back in maybe in a couple of hours but I'm pretty much going to be home for the rest of the night so I think I might just end this here and say that I think this foundation's okay I would give it maybe a six out of ten I think it's definitely for people who have more like 
combo skin, maybe like aging, ch a not maybe not combo, probably like normal skin or people who are aging because I do think it does a good job at um, blurring like stuff. I mean, I have acne, so I mean, I'm not a good candidate, I think, for this foundation, but you know what? It's not the worst foundation I've ever tried. It's a pretty decent foundation that I think, you know, people will like it. Uh, definitely um, people who are aging. It's good that it's oil-free. I'm glad about that. And I have nothing else to really say about it, so I think I give it a 5 or like a 6 out of 10. Right now, again, this is just the first impressions. It could totally change. I'm still going to continue experimenting with it within the next couple of weeks and that like that. So... Uh, that's all. Alright, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.